It's Friday, April 3rd, first Friday at the Harrison Center, but nobody's here except us. We're considered essential workers, as are the construction crew that's here, and that's why we're inside. The spec gallery, there should be different work. This is the work from March. It belongs to Susan Hodgen. She was a studio artist here at the Harrison Center, an educator in town, and tragically lost her life to cancer several years ago. Her friend and studio mate, Liz Smith, along with Susan's husband, Steve Nelson, gathered some of Susan's work and hung it in the gallery for March. They weren't able to come in and get it out, so it's still up. So we were able to come in and take a look at the pieces here. I was able to speak with Liz on the phone, and she told me a little bit more about Susan's art and how they got to be friends. A lot of her ideas, of course, come from landscape and nature. And after she passed and I was cleaning out drawers and things and getting stacks of things to give to Steve, I found tiny collages that she made. She would take magazine pictures and layer them, and you could see in those magazine pictures things that were going to be coming into her paintings at later date. And there were dozens of them. I don't think she really used sketchbooks. I think she used those collages as ways to think about how she was going to construct and, and compose her next pieces. So it was a fascinating work technique. Liz hadn't seen all of the pieces in the show, including this piece, which she says came in in a rather unusual manner. That came in on a big roll, and we had to move, we had to roll it out on the floor, and uh, it had to be cut down a bit because there simply was no way to, to get it uh, all um, um, put on a stretcher. It was huge. And um, I just uh, I found it absolutely dazzling. So, yeah, I love that piece. Have you integrated any of her techniques and colors and energy into your work after that time? Susan and I used to joke that we both paint the same way. We just layer color on top of color. She was really into color, and so am I. And I, I didn't realize it at the time because I had been drawn to circles for a um, about 30 years, I'd been working with circles, and she used a lot of circles in her work. I think about her when I'm painting, and we, she talked to me even after we were studio partners. She, she would sit down and give me little critiques and little suggestions, and it was just so helpful. Well, thank you so much, Liz. I really do appreciate okay. this. Okay, well, well, thank you, Jill.